In this video, I'll go over creating subclasses in JavaScript. Uh, when you create a class with the keyword extends, those classes we call derived classes or subclasses. To declare a subclass, you first write the class keyword, followed by the name you want to give your class. Then you write the extends keyword after the extends you write the name of the class you are extending over here i have a class called my class whose constructor accepts one argument called name and i place name inside the my name property i create here and then i have a hello method which just returns hello and whatever the name was now to create a subclass, you, all you have to do is write class and the name of the subclass you want to give. So in this case, I'll just name it sub1. And then you write the extends keyword and the name of the class you wish to extend. I have this class called my class. I'm going to extend that. So I'll write my class. So let's say if you just leave this empty like this, it will be as if you had uh, created all of this inside sub1. So if you create a variable called var a equals new sub1 and I'll pass it John Doe. Uh, this will automatically call the this constructor and pass it John Doe and this will property this dot my name will be created and then if you call a dot hello it'll display hello John Doe so I'll print it out dot right a dot hello so when you do a dot hello, it will call this method and it will display hello John Doe. So if you type this up and open it in your browser, you should see the result. As you can see here. Also note, let's say you want to create a constructor for the subclass as well, like constructor and then i'll have the name here and uh, let's say you want to have another thing like age in this case you before you uh, use the this keyword to create any property you have to call super uh, which calls the constructor of your parent class in this case the parent class is whatever you had after extends so uh, my class is the parent class so the constructor is expecting one argument and I'll pass in name here and it will initialize this uh, property and then I'll create a property for this uh, subclass as well I'll call it age equals age So let's say you can, if you do a dot age here, it will display whatever age you passed in to the constructor. So if you refresh, you should see 45. Also note, you can also override uh, methods of the parent class. In this case, if you wanted hello method to do something else, you can create the hello method here. And in this case, when you call a dot hello, it will refer to the hello method that is declared in the subclass. If this didn't exist, then it'll, after searching in the subclass, it'll go to the parent class and use that. So in this case, I'll use hello. Also note, you can call the parent uh, methods still by using the super keyword. So if you do super dot hello, 
what this does is it calls this uh, method in the parent class so it'll display hello and the uh, John Doe so I'll just do return and then I'll add age is and then this dot age so this hello will call the parent class and it will display hello John Doe and then after that I'll append age is 45 so this should display that result if you save and refresh your browser you should see as you can see here this is what was returned by the hello method in the parent class and this was the new thing we added so that's pretty much it for subclasses in JavaScript uh, when you create a constructor you have to call super and supply the appropriate uh, parameters uh, that the con parent constructor is uh, expecting and then you can create additional properties as well which the only the subclass can access and then you can also override existing uh, methods as well and if you wanted to still call the parent class you can use the super keyword followed by the method names so if you have any questions or concerns do leave a comment below if you like this video then remember to subscribe thank you